In this video, we will be solving tea time from the UCCO 2010 January Silver Contest. We're given n cows. m pairs of these cows have already met each other. If two cows i and j have both met cow k, then cow i and j will meet. We're also given q queries. For each query, we want to know if two cows will meet. And we answer yes if they will meet and no if they will not. This is the sample input. What the first line means is you have five cows, three pairs of cows have already met, and you have three queries. This being n, m, and q. The second, the next three lines are the three pairs of cows that have already met. So cows two and five have met, cows two and three have met, and cows four or five have met. The next q line, which in this case is three, are your queries. Two and three means will cow two and three meet? Will cow 3 and 5 meet, and will cow 1 and 5 meet? A nice way to visualize this problem is to think of it as a graph. Every cow is a node, and every two cows that have met create an edge. In the sample input, we have 5 cows, so that's 5 nodes. Cows 2 and 5 have met, so we add an edge between 2 and 5. 2 and 3 have met, so we add an edge between 2 and 3. And 4 and 5 have met, so we add an edge between 4 and 5. Now to answer our first query, have cows 2 and 3, or will cows 2 and 3 ever meet? There is an edge between cows 2 and 3, so they have already met. So yes, they will meet. To see if cows 3 and 5 have met, well, both cows 3 and 5 have met cow 2. So yes, at some point in time, cows 3 and 5 will meet. To see if cows 1 and 5 will meet, we have to see if there is a cow that both 1 and 5 have met. In this case, there is no cow that both 1 and 5 have met. The next question is, how will a program be able to tell if two cows will meet? Well, the idea is, if two cows are on the same component, meaning there's a set of edges that connects them, like 3, 2, 5, 4 is one component, and 1 is another component, then they will meet at some point in time, because there's always going to be some cow that's connecting both of them, or some set of cows. For example, to see if cow 3 and 4 will meet, you have to first consider that cow 3 and 5 we already determined will meet in our second query. So cow 3 and 4 will both meet cow 5, and hence cow 3 and 4 will meet. So the next question is, how can a program tell if two cows are on the same component? Let's look at the sample input again. The first query is to be able to tell if cows 2 and 3 are on the same component. And since we start at cow 2, since it's the first one, we will start at cow 2 and perform a DFS to see all the cows that cow 2 can possibly visit. So of course cow 2 can visit itself. It has an edge to cow 3, so it can visit cow 3. It has an edge to cow 5, it can visit cow 5. And cow 5 has an edge to cow 4, which is so it can visit cow 4. And there's no other edges, so cow 2 can only visit all the nodes that are currently green which, as you can see, are all the nodes in the component that 2 is in. We next check if cow3 can be visited by cow2, which is easy because we already marked all the nodes that cow2 can visit. And since cow3 is green, we know that cow2 can visit cow3. So we answer yes. For the second query to see if cow3 can reach cow5, we start at cow3 because that's our first one. It has an edge to cow2. 2 cow 2 has an edge to cow 5, and cow 5 has an edge to cow 4. There's no other edges. And we then check, and cow 5 is marked as being able to visit. So we know that cow 5 is connected to cow 3. Again, we're only traveling through the edges. So if a cow is marked as visited, that means that there is some set of edges connecting the two cows. The last query, cow 1 to cow 5. We start at car 1, because that's the first one. We mark it as visited, and there's no other... No um, cal 1 cannot visit any other nodes, because there's no edges going out of it. And so then we check to see if cal 5 is marked as visited, and it's not, because cal 1 cannot reach cal 5. So we respond no. Let's consider the runtime of this algorithm. For every query, we are searching from one node 
to as many nodes as we can possibly reach. There are at most n queries, and in every query there is at most n nodes to search through. While doing our DFS that searches through a node, we are looping through all other nodes to see if there is an edge. So for every node, we are looping through n nodes, and there is n nodes for us to go through. So that's n times n. And there's q queries repeating this q times. So that gives a runtime of O of q times n times n. Since q is 100 and n is 1000, this gives a runtime of, or this gives approximately 100 million operations, which is less than 500 million operations. So this will work. Next question is can we do better? And it turns out we can. We can solve this problem in O of n squared plus q instead of O of n squared times q. This gives us a 1 million operation solution as opposed to a 100 million operation solution. Here's this algorithm to do so. We first find all the connected components in one DFS search. This is O of n squared as I've previously explained. When we do our DFS, we mark each connected component with a number, and all the nodes in that component have the same number. Then for each query, we simply check if each nodes have the same if the two nodes have the same query number. This takes O of 1 because you're simply looking up the number the node has. Since there are Q queries, all Q queries combined take O of Q. That is how you get the O of n squared plus Q solution. I'll explain this a little more in detail. Let's take a look at let's take a look at an example of this using the sample input. Here is the sample input where the n nodes or the five nodes or you represent your five cows and you have edges connecting nodes that have already met. Now we start at node one and we mark this with the value one because it is our um we just give it the first number one. We're starting in node one because we're going in order. Now node one is not connected to any other nodes. So you want to mark the whole component involving node 1 as 1, which we're already done. Node 2 we set to the value 2 because that's the second component. Now we want to mark the whole component of node 2, which is 2, 3, 4, 5 as 2. So we do a DFS. Node 2 goes to node 3. And we mark 3 with the same value 2 because it's in the same component as node 2. And that whole component has to have a value of 2. Now node 2 is also connected to node 5, so we DFS down to node 5. We mark node 5 also as 2 because it's in the same component. Now in the DFS, node 5 goes to node 4, which we also mark as 2. Now the whole component involving 2, 3, 4, 5 is marked as 2. The next step is to answer the queries that we're given. So to answer the queries can be done in O of 1 using the setup that we had just created. The first query is between nodes 2 and node 3. Since they both have the same uh, component value of 2, they're both in component 2. Because of this, we can say, uh, we can answer the query yes, they're in the same component, component 2, so they will meet eventually. The next query is node 3 and node 5. They also are in the same, are in component 2. Since they're in the same component 2, we answer yes. The last query is node 1 and node 5. Node 1 is in component 1 and node 5 is in component 2. Since they're in different components, they're not connected. So the answer to that query is no. They will never meet. So the first thing we have to do is include everything. Include bit slash scdc plus plus dot h does that. And I just forgot the s in bits. Uh, we always use namespace std as the standard one. The input is given such that the first line has n, m, and q, the number of cows, the number of cows we've already met, and the number of queries. So we read that in as the first line. The next thing we want to do is we want some way to store which cows have met. So we will use a 2D array of booleans to do so, and we'll call it met. The dimension is 1001 by 1001 because the cows are indexed 1 through 1000. Now we will loop through each of the M um, cows that have already met. Uh, each input line is given in two, with two numbers, cow A and B, which 
signifies, signifies that cows A and B have met. So you mark that A has met cow B, and cow B has met cow A. So the next thing to do is to uh, go through the queries and answer each and every one of them. So we look through for every query. Each query is given with two cows again, just like the input. So we read in the two cows, and then, as we said, we will go from cow A, and we will see, we will DFS from cow A to see all the possible cows that cow A could reach. Now we need to keep track of which cows cow A can visit, so we will create a visited array, again of size 1001, because one cow could have an uh, index of 1000. And we need to initialize the visited array to be false. And again, we loop from 1 through n instead of 0 through n minus 1 because cows are indexed 1 through n using one based indexing. So now that we have DFS from A, and you'll write that function a little later, this marks all the cows that cow A can, is connected to as visited. To answer the query, we need to see if cow B is a uh, visited or not to see if we can if we have reached cow B from cow A. So if cow B is visited, then we have reached it and we can answer the query as yes. If this is not the case, then cow B is not connected to cow A, or node B is not connected to node A. So we answer the query as no. All right, this is the whole entire code, but there's one thing. We haven't written our DFS function yet. So the DFS function doesn't return anything, so we'll make it a void. The only thing that matters is our current location. Now, we don't want to visit a node that we have we don't want to search a node that we've already visited because we don't want to search a node twice because that'll slow down our code a lot and probably reach an infinite loop. So if a node is already visited, then we simply return and we don't DFS it. Otherwise, we set visited, we set ourselves to our current node to be visited because, well, we have reached it. So the next thing is from our current node, we need to search all the possible nodes, all the nodes that we are connected to, every node that we have an edge going out of ourselves. Luckily, we have this information stored in the met array, which shows which cows our current cow has met. So we loop through all the cows and we see if we have met them. And if so, then we can DFS because they're connected. So now we're going to another connected um, node. And that's the whole code.